Good morning. This is the ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Tuesday, October 20th, 2015. So I had a little bit of a technological breakthrough last night. I figured out how to work with uh, Windows Movie Maker relatively easily and got my first episode up on YouTube. And so I think I know how I can work that into my normal posting process. So I'm going to start posting these up on YouTube. So yesterday's was up there, but uh, I'm not going to worry about the 334 backlog episodes, I don't think. Just going to start doing it from this point forward. Uh, and, And so while I felt like the technological gods were smiling upon me, I thought, well, should I give... Should I give YouTube or iTunes another try? And so I went back and, and looked at the specs. And I could have sworn that it used to be a higher maximum. But uh, the maximum is 3,000 by 3,000 pixels. So I took my image and I made it a square of 2,500 by 2,500. I letterboxed it as a quick expediency. I actually probably want to get to the source image and make it do some cropping and make it square and have an actual square one because I could kind of use it for YouTube as well. So I'll probably get that done here. Yeah, maybe this week. Maybe this week. Um, And I went and I updated my feed and I submitted it to to iTunes. (laughs) Yeah, he wants to say YouTube. And bam! It took it. So it's under review. It's not live on the iTunes store yet, but but, you know, I couldn't get that far all this time. So I, I, was, I was very pleased about that. I was, I was actually shocked that it actually took it. I figured there'd be some other dumb message that popped up. So, yeah, I'm geeked about that. I'm waiting for the email, hopefully, that says that they accept my podcast. Ah, that will be nice. That will be nice. You know, so, so uh, the new James Bond film, Spectre, is coming out. And um, there's an ad that's running right now that is a Heineken ad that's a direct tie-in. And it shows Daniel Craig as James Bond, and he's, he's in a boat chase. Well, he's, in a, he's, he's chasing somebody, and they get in a boat, and he gets in a boat. And, and that is kind of like, I don't know, you know, they're like in Italy or something, you know. It's supposed to be, you know, you know someplace exotic. Um, anyway, uh, and attached to James Bond boat, there was a woman with, who, who's standing there ready to water ski, so she's got the skis on, and she's holding the thing, and actually, I think it's a singular water ski, and, um, you know, so she takes off, she's getting pulled by the boat, and she manages to somehow work her way up, while, um, the bad guy that Bond's chasing, they end up, the bad guy jumps in the James Bond boat, boat, and they're doing a this fight and all this stuff. And the woman manages to somehow catch up to the boat and jump onto it. What I noticed about this ad, I won't tell you the whole ad. The, 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 the plot of the ad doesn't matter to what I want to talk about. The thing I noticed about it was it's got a different feel. It's got a very, to me, it's got a very 1960s-ish feel to, to the colors. You know, like the, I, I don't know if it's like the saturation is a little deeper or, or what the deal is, but it, it 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 felt even though you know the film quality is 2015, the way it looks is looks more 60s to me, um, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it did. I I didn't really realize that sometimes people will do these. Well, I guess I did, did realize it. You know, I got thinking about uh, the Aviator. I can't remember if I discussed this. I might have mentioned it. But one of the things that they did that I only kind of quasi noticed until I got into until I started reading the trivia about halfway through the movie was that the director of the Aviator was using these different uh, uh, different color processes to match the era that the movie was set in. So there's this one scene that I think was supposed to be in the 40s. Where Howard Hughes got a plate with steak and some peas, and the peas were like purple, because that's how they would have looked 
at that time with the color technology that they were using for movies. So I kind of wonder, given that, you know, at the end of Skyfall, we kind of got James Bond right to the point where the Sean Connery started, you know. We've got M in his in his office with the leather door and Money Penny sitting outside. And, and so I kind of wonder if they made a conscious choice. I'm sure it'd be a conscious choice. Well, wonder if they if they've tried to make it seem a little bit more as far as as, as visually like a movie that would have been from the sixties when the James Bond stuff really started started up originally. So I, I've been watching the trailer in that in that light because they released they released I think the final trailer and I've watched that and I'm going to give it a maybe at this point. The trouble is there's so much happening and the shots are moving so fast in a trailer it's really kind of tough to tell. It kind of looks like it to me, but I'm not sure. I, I hope they don't go overboard on it. You know, like, you know, decide to do 60s style music or something stupid like that. Um, but visually, it's kind of interesting. So, I guess we'll see, we'll see how that is. We'll see how that is. Uh, other trailer news is I, I, I'm, I'm actually a, a bad person, or at least a bad Star Wars fan, because I know the Star Wars trailer... I think it's supposed to be the final trailer also for, for the new Star Wars came out yesterday and I totally blanked on it and forgot to watch it. I meant to watch it this morning and I got busy doing edits on the Simon Snuffleburger book. Uh, I got two chapters done so of my read aloud edits so that's cool. Five to go. So yeah, I need to watch that. I need to watch that. And I got a test tonight in my accounting class, so I got my fingers crossed for that. I'll be spending some time today studying for that. I don't feel like I'm as on solid ground with this one as I was in the last one, so I probably won't get an A+. Plus. But once again, this is for transfer credit, so I don't absolutely have to nail it. But anyway, I guess I'm at seven, almost eight minutes. I guess maybe uh, I'll let that be it for today. If you are a new listener via the YouTube, welcome. I hope you had fun. Um, I'll, I'll do an episode where I talk about what it is I do once the uh, iTunes feed gets approved. So I only do it once. But uh, yeah, I do this almost every day. So uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Come back, please. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.